In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we come together to celebrate His Holy Eucharist. We praise and thank God for His goodness to us, and we continue to pray for the end of this virus, of this crisis. And today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Maximilian Kolbe, priest and martyr. As we know, he has offered his life himself in place of a married man during the, uh, well, uh, in the concentration camp. And uh, as we celebrate this Holy Eucharist, we pray for the intentions, we pray for the eternal repose of the souls of Laudentia Romana and the Holy Souls in Purgatory. Also for uh, Rosario Malili, as she's remembered uh, uh, her death anniversary. To be less unworthy for the celebration, we now humble ourselves before the Lord and ask Him for the gift of forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you revealed yourself as the way to the Father, Lord of mercy. You have poured out on your people the spirit of truth, Christ of mercy. You are the good shepherd, leading us to eternal life, Lord of mercy. And may Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who filled the priest and martyr Saint Maximilian Kolbe with a burning love for the Immaculate Virgin Mary and with zeal for our souls and love of neighbor, graciously grant through his intercession that striving for your glory by eagerly serving others, we may be conformed even until death to your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. And that. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord says this, Jerusalem, I will treat you as you deserve. You have despised your oath even to the extent of breaking a covenant. But I will remember the covenant that I made with you when you were a girl. And I will conclude a covenant with you that shall last forever. And you, for your part, will remember your past behavior and be covered with shame. When I take your elder and younger sisters and make them your daughters, although this was not included in this covenant, I am going to renew my covenant with you, and you will learn that I am the Lord. And so remember and be covered with shame and in your confusion be reduced to silence when I have pardoned you for all that you have done. It is the Lord who speaks. The word of the Lord. Response for your son, our response. You have turned from your anger to comfort me. You have turned from your anger to comfort me. Truly, God is my salvation. I trust, I shall not fear. For the Lord is my strength, my song. He became my savior. You have turned from your anger to comfort me. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, give praise to his name, make his mighty deeds known to the peoples. You have turned from your anger to comfort me. Declare the greatness of his name, Sing a song to the Lord, for he has done glorious deeds. 
make them known to all the earth. People of Zion, sing and shout for joy, for the great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You have turned from your anger to comfort me. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Receive this message not as human words, but as truly the word of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Some Pharisees approached Jesus and to test him they said, Is it against the law for a man to divorce his wife on any pretext whatever? He answered, Have you not read that the Creator from the beginning made them male and female, and that he said, this is why a man must leave father and mother and cling to his wife, and the two become one body. They are no longer two, therefore, but one body. So then, what God has united, man must not divide. They said to him, Then why did Moses command that a writ of dismissal should be given in cases of divorce? It was because you were so unteachable, he said, that Moses allowed you to divorce your wives, but it was not like this from the beginning. Now I say this to you, the man who divorces his wife, I'm not speaking of fornication, and marries another is guilty of adultery. But the disciples said to him, If that is how things are between husband and wife, it is not advisable to marry. But he replied, it is not everyone who can accept what I have said, but only those to whom it is granted. There are eunuchs born that way from their mother's womb. There are eunuchs made so by men, and there are eunuchs who have made themselves that way for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Let anyone accept this who can. The Gospel of the Lord. Our general vocation, general call, is to love God and neighbor. And there are different ways by which we can fulfill that in our state of life. One may be married life, another may be religious life. Equal our importance uh, it is to fulfill our call of loving God and neighbor. And here Jesus uh, said about marriage, marriage is of course joining one to the other. A man and wife would come together and uh, if they truly love each other, then that true love will last forever. In that sense we say, it is love that joins them together. We can of course say, God equals love. If uh, true love unites man and woman and that will last forever. So, it is understood that, well, it's within the plan of God. And so, uh, that commitment is to, to love each other forever. So that when it is true love that unites man and woman, and of course the whole family, then it's worth the joys and sacrifices of a married man or married woman. Or the family. Well, also, it is also an expression of love of God and neighbor when one offers himself in the service of the kingdom. So, with that, with that motivation and commitment, it's worth the, the joys and sacrifices of living a state of life as a married or committed to the kingdom of God. Our saint today, Saint Maximilian Kolbe, must have recognized the important role of the father, of the family, of a husband, as he uh, offered himself in place of that man, uh, who is to be executed to, uh, uh, because, uh, well, uh, somebody escaped and then they are to execute ten prisoners, and he took the place of one of the married men. He must have seen 
must have realized the importance of the role of the husband and family man that uh, they continue to uh, so that he will be released to continue that love commitment to his wife and the family but also it's one way of expressing his love for God and neighbor it's worth the sacrifice of life to offer that for the good of somebody else and for the good of the kingdom brothers and sisters our saying today exemplified to us what it means to do sacrifice for because of true love true love of God and neighbor and of course it was first of all Jesus Christ who did everything for us it's worth the sacrifice because he loved us so much as we continue to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, we praise and thank our Lord Jesus Christ for offering himself for us and for our nourishment. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, friends of your goodness, who have received this bread to offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Yes. Yes. God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, friends for your goodness, who have received this wine to offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We present our oblation to you, Lord, humbly praying that we may learn from the example of Saint Maximilian to offer our very lives to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to our Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we meet to run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with angels and our angels, when with great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of the Lord. Let us in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was sanded, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior, to the world, by the cross and resurrection, and set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Vincent our Bishop and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. <coughs> Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Andrew, St. Maximilian Colby, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be carried to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and you have seen us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold it who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Prayer for those at home. And Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, I embrace you as you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. May I never be separated from you. Amen.
Greater love has no one than to lay down his life for his friend, says the Lord. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that renewed by the body and blood of your Son, we may be inflamed with the same fire of charity that Saint Maximilian received from his holy bank, from this holy banquet. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And just uh, to remind you, of course, it's still uh, highly recommended to wear masks during Holy Mass. And uh, there will be Mass uh, for the uh, Feast of Assumption this evening, 7, 7, 7 o'clock tonight. 100 limit, and then, of course, tomorrow. The Lord be with you. Yes. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, you have celebrated the Holy Eucharist. We go now in peace. Thanks be to God.